In the previous lecture, we learned about web lists. In this lecture, we're going to learn about block level and inline elements. So we're going to start with a block level element. A block level element always begin on new lines, and they expand to full width of its parent. So we're going to create a div here, uh, a div tag. And inside the div tag, I'm going to include all the, well, not all of them, but just some of the um, uh, block level elements, the most common ones. Um, and that is the P tag. Then we have the heading one, heading two, um, yeah, heading two, heading three, heading four, heading five, and heading six. Uh, and then we have the uh, order list. Um, an order list, uh, of course, a div, um, address, field set, um, form, uh, table, um, etc. Okay, now, um, just to define or to be able to see the width of the div, I'm going to um, uh, define a background for the div. So, so within the style element, I'm going to define the div, and I'm going to add a background color. And that's going to be red. Okay. Now let's save it, refresh the browser, and there you have it. You can see the div element takes up the whole space in that line. Okay, now let's uh, move on to the inline elements. The inline elements start anywhere in a line and, and their width are not expandable. So I'm going to create a span. A span is uh, an inline element. So I'm going to create a span tag, and I'm going to include some of the uh, inline elements. That is this uh, B, which stands for bold. Um, OK, hold on. Um, we have the B, we, and then the small. Italic, code, strong, image, subscript, and then we have the subscript. Uh, we have also button, input, label, select, text area, text area. Okay, now to be able to see the width, then we have to um, add a background color. So gonna define, I'm going to uh, type span and add the background color um, of yellow. Okay, save it. Refresh the page. Okay, that didn't work. Um, span, um, then we have the span here. Something is wrong here. Background, color, yellow. Yep, I'm missing an L there. Okay, refresh the page. And there it is. You can see that the span inline element doesn't take up the whole space in that line. So again, the element with the red background, it's um, a block level element, and the element that is wrapping all this text here with the yellow background, it's an inline element. Well, that is it for this lecture. In the next lecture, we're going to look at forms.